Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about avocados and cardiovascular disease. This is a recent study that just came hot off the press. So let's go ahead and discuss some of the findings. It's a 30 year study where they selected 121,700 registered nurses. Of them, they eliminated people who had cancer, coronary heart disease, and stroke. And they were left with 68,786 females ages 30 to 55. And they had 41,701 males ages 40 to 75 years old. Now, they did two servings per week, two servings of avoc avocados per week. And then they did a baseline questionnaire prior to the study, and then did a questionnaire every four years to determine if they had any issues with cardiovascular systems. They also did a statistical analysis where they replaced margarine, butter, egg, yolk, cheese, or processed meats, half a serving of one of them, with a half a serving of avocado. And they did a statistical analysis to see if there were other benefits to replacing these types of foods. So what did the study show? There were a total of 14,274 incident cases of cardiovascular disease. Of that, 9,185 were coronary heart disease, and then 5,290 were stroke, okay? So why did they pick the avocado? Avocado is nutrient dense, right? It's really a superfood. It has a lot of dietary fiber, insoluble fiber. It has a lot of potassium, 500 to 800 milligrams per serving. It has magnesium. It has uh, monounsaturated fats. And monounsaturated fats have been shown to decrease LDL cholesterol and increase HDL cholesterol, right? It also has polyunsaturated fats, not a lot, but and also has a lot of phytonutrients and has an omega-9 called oleic acid. It's about 13 grams. So there's a lot of nutrients in avocado. So what, uh, what was the conclusion of the study? The conclusion, 16% reduction in coronary vascular disease, right? Your cardiovascular system. There was a 21% reduction in coronary heart disease, vasculature to the heart, right? It had no uh, statistical difference for stroke. So it didn't impact the number of strokes um, with avocado consumption. Now, prior I said they did a statistical analysis where they did a model to see if you replaced those foods with a half a serving of avocado every day. And they came up with 16% to 22% reduction in coronary heart disease uh, and cardiovascular disease overall. So if you replaced half a serving of um, the eggs, the dairy, and so forth with avocados, then you can decrease your cardiovascular incidence by 16 to 22%. So this is not a perfect study, but it's a pretty good one. And it shows you how a nutrient-dense food can be beneficial for the cardiovascular system. The good thing about avocado, it's also keto friendly and it's packed with nutrients. So it's a really great food. I personally probably have maybe three to four servings of avocado on a weekly basis. So tell me what, how many avocados you eat in the comments below and what is your health like? All right. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.